Climate change is definitely a global issue today. We today's generations are the one responsible for it and it's we who need to be the solution for tomorrow's generation. Among different sectors affected by climate, agriculture is the prominent field affected by climate change. Sufficient food is produced each year at Around 10% of the world populations are undernourished. By 2050, the world population is estimated to be increased by around 35%. And here lies a big question that how are we going to feed the growing population then? So for this, a developing country like Nepal need to adapt the conservation agriculture practices which can cope up with the change in climate by taking the perspective of women towards agriculture. Nepal is a country where more than 50% farmers are female and is the same country which is listed as the fourth most vulnerable countries hit by climate change. In such scenario, if we could introduce the conservation agriculture practices over the traditional method of farming by training the female farmers on it, then we could boost the productivity by 20 to 30 percent each year. Dependency on seasonal rainfall, flood, landslides, soil erosion, etc. are the stories of every year in Nepal. And on top of it, continuous practices of traditional method of farming. So it's high time where we need to develop the conservation agriculture practices, which is simple no extra cost and efficiently applicable for farmers. Following conservation agriculture practices are not just making the farmer easy, but also giving greenery back to nature by conserving the soil moisture. So it's high time. Let's bring the perspectives of women towards nature by involving them in conservation agriculture practice. There is no climate justice without gender justice.